Hi everyone, Karma Lichty with Onward Studios. In this video, we are going to look at adding text to an image inside of Photoshop. I'm going to grab the text tool, which is about two thirds of the way down. It's the big T, two thirds of the way down in the toolbar. After I select the text tool, I have options here at the top. I can choose the font via that drop down, the font style, regular, bold, italicized, etc., the size of the font. Those are the main settings. If there's more settings that I want to affect, there is a character pal palette available to us here from this column of icons of, of panels where there are more options to set your text. I'm just going to add one line of text here. Then I'm going to go back and show you if, if you're going to add multiple lines or more of a paragraph type text, how that works. If it's just a title that we're going to add to an image, I'm just going to simply click and then type in our title. So there's our title. And I can go back to the Move tool and place this wherever I would like to place it. Let's look at some of the settings. Keep this up here for text. To go back and edit the text, I, grab, I click on that layer and grab the text tool. I can change the color of the text via this color box here in the control panel. like so. I can change the font size either from the control panel or from the character panel like so. Or if I just want to change a few of the characters versus everything with my text tool I could highlight just the words that I want to change or the characters I want to change and then make the change just to those selected characters. I'm going to control Z that back out so I can continue showing some other options here. If I do multiple undos, the keyboard shortcut is control alt Z to do multiple undos. Control Z does the last undo, but if you do control Z again, it brings it back. So to do multiple undos, add alt with control Z after you do the first control Z. A bit more about the settings in the control panel. This setting here is what we call the letting. That's actually space between lines, which is not applicable just to just one line of text. We have kerning and tracking. Tracking is a distance between characters. So if you watch the words here, if I bring them closer together via doing a negative tracking. Then you have the common options down here to do italicize, all caps, etc. Let's look at another version of text. Instead of just doing one line of text, let's do several lines of text. So I'm going to just type something in here. To create a text area, I grab the text tool and click and drag to create the area before I actually started typing. Now I can change the size of this area, going back to the text tool, and clicking and dragging on the handles to change how that text is, is laid out. Whereas if it's not a text area, just a line of text. And if I go back to the text tool on this line of text, I'm going to do a control, a control T on that layer to select it. And if I click and drag this out, it's going to change the size of that text. So if, this is what we call point text versus the example here is, is what we refer to as paragraph text. I want to talk about one more technique that I will often use when I'm adding text to images. I'm going to delete the paragraph text. If I brought this text down here to where it's a little more busier in the image, it becomes difficult to read. So I do two things to help make that text jump out of there. I will often add another text layer. So I'm just going to copy this text layer as is by doing a control or a command J. Now I have two layers of the same text. I'm going to change the color of the bottom layer. By selecting it, going to my text tool, going up to my control panel, and changing that to a white. So the bottom layer takes on a white. Now nothing really changes here, but I'm going to nudge this white text out a bit. So I'm going to hit my, my down arrow key once, and maybe the right arrow key once. So that really offsets that. Maybe, I think right in there. So I'm going to turn this back off so you can see what it was before and adding it really pops it out. It still 
busy behind there, so I will often add a shape behind my text. I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle tool, and I'm going to do it with a white fill. And simply click and drag to create a shape that goes that covers that text area. Now, actually, place it placed that shape in between my text. There's I'm going to bring this down. Now, adding the shape kind of wiped out what the what the white text was doing, except I'm going to bring that shape fill color down to make it much more opaque. So you can still see the image through there, yet the shape helps offset that text. I'm going to, to show you the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. So that's our introduction on how to add text to your images.